Well, if I've learned anything after over a decade of homesteading is that our failures can oftentimes lead to opportunities to learn new skills. Well, if this is your first time here, my name is Brianna and my husband Gray and I live a slow life at home, learning, practicing, and teaching our children traditional skills. I wanted to share a story that happened earlier this year when we woke up to one of our breeding youths struggling to give birth. She had successfully delivered our the first lamb and uh, had complications with the second one. And despite our best efforts, uh, she unfortunately didn't make it. And that was a really sad time here on our homestead, but we did learn something from it. Uh, we have been raising sheep now for over four years, and thankfully we had a lot of the supplies in order to jump into action and take care of this bummer lamb. Um, you'll often hear the term bummer lamb, and what this means is any lamb that isn't able to be cared for by its mother. So this can be an orphaned lamb, like in our case, or a uh, lamb that is rejected by its mother. Uh, in fact, last year the same you had triplets which is what prompted us to get these materials here um, and so now he is almost ready to be weaned and i wanted to share what made us successful in raising him from being totally dependent to totally independent in this video i'm going to share 10 steps for bottle lamb care or in other words how to care for a bottle lamb before i talk about the supplies that you're going to need in order to successfully take care of uh, a dependent lamb, uh, just keep in mind that I've listed everything in the description box below if you're the kind of person that just wants to jump ahead and know what you're going to need. You can also find that information in the corresponding blog post. So I suggest that if you are raising sheep at all, you have colostrum on hand because during lambing season because you just never know. And the last thing you want to do is scramble to get out to the store to get uh, something that you're going to need. Um, this has to be given to a lamb uh, within the first 24 to 36 hours of life. Um, the next thing is some kind of heat source. We used a uh, just a heat lamp that you would use to brood chicks in uh, because we had them on hand from raising other various animals. Uh, of course, you're going to need thick bedding and a shelter. So lambing season typically is late winter or um, early spring. And so it's very cold. He even here, we have a very mild uh, climate, but it's too cold for a lamb to not have his mother to keep him warm. So along with the heat source, you'll need shelter to protect him from the elements as well as predators. So we have coyote and mountain lion and fox. Um, even dogs, um, domesticated dogs can get after a lamb. So you're going to need to keep him or her locked up at night to keep him safe. Uh, the next thing you're going to need clearly is a milk replacer. So the colostrum is only fed uh, in the first 24 hours of life, and then you're going to switch to a milk replacer. And you should give the lamb about four to six ounces of milk replacer every four hours. Now, different companies have different uh, mixing instructions. So whatever milk replacer you choose to get, just follow the instructions on the bag to mix the bottle and then give the milk replacer to the lamb in uh, the amount of time needed. And then uh, you will need a bottle. Now, um, I want to mention that when you get a bottle um, at first, you might find it really difficult because um, in our case, you kind of have to teach the lamb how to drink from the bottle. And um, we started with one style of bottle that he was not taking to. And so we went out and we got another style that was a lot easier for him to take to. This is the lamb bottle that we use that we found a lot of success with. We're still using it even though we're weaning him off. And so we've only needed one bottle and this has done the trick. Um, but. I have that linked below if you're interested. And then the final thing that you're going to need, but you probably won't need it until about two to three months down the line, is medical supplies. So I, if you have a bummer lamb, start thinking about how you're going to get them uh, wormed and um, castrated if that's what you're going to do and docked. So we did all of that right here on our homestead because we have experience with that. Um, but you, you kind of need to get some of those supplies lined out because you're going to want to do that around three months of age. The other thing that I wanted to mention uh, before moving on was that the lambs are so much of a herd animal that your new little lamb is going to bond to you right away. And um, 
this is sweet but also not good for the longevity of the lamb so you really want to get that lamb outdoors with the other lambs to socialize as much as possible we're going to be keeping our lamb as a replacement breeding ram so we won't be castrating him he will be the replacement ram in our herd and so uh we want him with all the mamas as soon as possible to get used to being um around them and so uh, that kind of goes along with the next point is that once the lamb is about a month in a month old you want to have them have access to water of course and grass or hay or whatever you're feeding the other lambs which naturally will happen if uh, he he or she is out there with them because he'll start eating more of the grass and then less of the milk up until about three months old when you can totally wean him and then Finally, I wanted to mention if you are a person like me that likes pen and paper and checklists and all of those things, then I made a free printable with all of these steps um, just on a piece of paper that you can keep in your storeroom or you can print out if you already are in the situation where you have a bummer lamb and check them off until that lamb is totally independent of you.